Hello all, and Donna here with another vlog. Just have the craziest 48 hours. Busy 48 hours. Went to the northeast with my other half. Didn't vlog any of it because it's his family and they don't want to be in the vlogs, which is fine. I spent most of it painting skirting boards, door frames and doors, window sills, ready for his nana to move into a bungalow she now has. We might be going back there in two weeks on my next weekend off to help out again because there's still a lot to do in the house. Um, not really sure yet, but we are looking at taking our strimmer up there because the garden's a mess and we don't know if the local council there are going to cut the grass like they say they're going to. So we're prepared to take our strimmer up there and maybe lawnmower, secateurs, anything that we might need for the garden. And she's got some weeds in the um, steps of her, um, on the way down to her bungalow that needs ripping out of the steps as well, which I think will look really nice and tidy when they're done. We were up super early Saturday morning and we wouldn't be home at all to feed Dave or get a mouse out for Dave. So we fed him on Friday and the little bugger ate all of his food, which was really, really good. But I actually think he might be going into shed. He seems very dull in colour, but it could just be... Uh, the light shining on his uh, scales and that. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, oh, hello, what's this? My boy, you got loose shed. I can't pull it though, because it could hurt you, so. But now he's eating. So he ate on Friday and he has not been bringing it up, which is really good. Oh, look at him. When Dave has eaten the last couple of times for his mouse, he doesn't actually snatch. And like the last two times he hasn't been snatching. He just takes the food as if to say, well, thank you. And a lot of the times snakes coil and attack and wrap themselves around their um, dinner. Um, because that's what they would do if they were in the wild. Not Dave though, no. He takes it as if you're offering him a gift and he's just graciously thanking you for his gift. At minute, he's trying to escape, which is very uh, Dave-like. But corn snakes are said to be master escapists. And as you can see, he is trying his hardest to get himself wrapped around my tripod. And I'm trying to vlog and try and stop him from doing that very thing. It's actually just started to thunder. I've just seen lightning. Not that it bothers my animals, but I definitely saw lightning. Hello. A lot of people aren't a fan of snakes, but what they don't realise is these are amazing, amazing creatures. They're so clever, they're so smart, and they're so, and really, deep down when you think about it, they are absolute babies. And he is a massive baby who is just constantly trying to escape all the time. Icorio has coincidentally decided to try and escape over the fence and it's going to rain and she's going to have to try and make her way back because if it is thundering, she is now going to be whinging that she can't get back. Well, hello there, buddy. I really don't know what he's doing right now, but uh, he is clinging his tail around here while he's going around my back. I can hear him breathing. He does little snuffles. It's so cute. But I actually can't move right now. I am Dave's prisoner. Oh, tail. Where's that tail going? It's like a little dog. Look at you. I feel like he wants to have a shit on me. It is Wednesday and I have a very busy couple of days coming up. I am at work till two o'clock, so there is actually nothing much I can do this afternoon apart from maybe a bit cleaning. Tomorrow I have to take my cats to the vets. 
for their yearly checkups and vaccinations. And then on Friday, even, I have a dentist appointment. And then I'm going to the hairdressers to get my hair done as well. I'm actually uh, walking through like a, a path through a church. Um, they never have any signs that say you can't walk through it and there are pathways. And there's a couple of gates at the other side of the churchyard. And they have cable tied them, so now I have to walk all the way back round to where the bus stop is and take the long way round to the other side. What possessed him to lock the gates, I do not know. But there's no signs up or anything. That one might be open, but it does look cable tied as well. So let's have a look. Yesterday, they did not have cable ties on. So I don't know if it's because they've got some sort of fair coming on. Um, so they've put marquees up, but they have cable tied the gate shut, which hopefully is just a temporary thing and they'll reopen them again. Anyway, that aside, I'm not really bothered. It's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, I think the temperature's looking to hit 20, which is doable for me. I'm happy with 20. Six hours at work. That's not too bad. Oh, I hate stairs in the morning. I have no energy, no stamina in me in the morning to climb railway bridges. Carl inquired about a car yesterday, um, one that he'd been looking at getting and unfortunately it was sold. So he's in another one at a different showroom in Bolton, uh, but it's got no images of the car, but it looks like it's got all the things that he wants. So we'll have to see uh, if this is the one he goes to look at at the weekend while I'm at work. I finally got home from work. I got home about three o'clock. The bus was chaotic, busy crazy busy um i ended up just spending most of the afternoon playing fall guys um that was about as exciting as it got and then i'm just gonna relax do some of my journaling and be ready for whatever tomorrow brings including trying to carry these two on the bus in cat carriers all the way to the vets and neither of them are lightweight, so that's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. We actually spent 15 to 20 minutes running around the estate, trying to get Aurea to come back to our garden so that I could get her into a carrier, because she wasn't having any of it. She was too busy chasing Morrissey again. It's an absolute nightmare getting the cats into the carriers when it's vet day. They will do anything to try and escape Mabel, you have to literally place her into it upside down. Like, like you have the carrier stood up on its side and then you have to literally put her in it and then trap her in. And Oreo just wasn't doing it. She was just sliding. I had to shove her in by a romp. But they're ready for the vets now and it was a nightmare to do, I won't lie. So far, it's Oreo that's quiet and it's Mabel that's yowling. And then when we get into the car, it will reverse. So it'll be Oreo yowling and Mabel going quiet. But they're both in the carriers. The struggle is over. And now I have to wait for my dad to come and get me to take me down with them because I spoke to him and I don't have to catch the bus now, which is a blessing because taking two rowdy cats onto the bus would be a nightmare, but it'll also be quite upsetting for them as well. Two thousand years later. Oreo and Mabel were so good at the vets and Mabel stayed calm despite being nervous when she visits and Oreo was her usual little social self, although she did present a challenge of getting back into her carrier. She wasn't having it at all. I even needed a lint roller to brush myself off from the amount of hair that she shedded all over me. Good morning all. It is fry. Yay! What people say when it's close to weekend anyway i have the hairdressers today and i have the dentist the dentist is where i'm headed to first to make sure that my teeth are okay already brushed clean ready to go could do with flossing them actually before i disappear but i don't know where my floss sticks went 
And I'm getting my hair coloured. So it's going to cost a pretty penny today, but I knew that was going to happen. So I am well prepared. And uh, yeah, let's have a good day. I have actually just come to check on Elvis, my neighbour's puppy. Oh, we're doing dog doo-doos. Oh, I'm going to have to clean up dog doo-doo. Yay. Oh, delightful. Oh, lovely. <laughs> through the dentist and I now require a filling in one of my teeth apart from that everything is good and now I'm going to the hairdressers to get my hair coloured hair is done I dropped in with him quickly to a shop because I had to pick up a hairbrush and some shampoo waiting for the bus again and it's 20 minutes late on top of the 15 minutes I have to wait anyway for the bus to come as they're running terribly. So when I got home before I noticed that well actually just now and I don't know how long it's been like that but I actually think Dave's heat lamp has blown so I don't know if we have a spare heat lamp and nowhere will be open now for us to pick one up Either that or it's actually to temperature in this room and it's turned off. So I'm not really sure. But that kind of concerns me a little bit because I've only just realised when I came back downstairs that the bulb isn't on. And I don't want my snake getting cold. Tomorrow morning when the other half has dropped me off at work, he's going to pick up a new bulb for Dave. He should be okay until tomorrow morning and obviously when I discovered the bulb had blown it was already past shop closing times and I'd even asked around to see if anyone that on my friends list had a spare bulb which they don't which kind of sucks in a way but Dave should be okay till in the morning he'll just hide to keep himself warm and then we'll get a new bulb put in so it can warm his viv up quick. I'm going to leave my video here for the time being so if you've enjoyed it please hit subscribe and tap on that bell and you'll get a notification when another one goes online. I'm still learning how to do vlogs so I would love any support that people can offer me. I don't ask for any kind of payment or money just a follow. Uh, so if you also have thyroid issues and you just want to see what I get to up to in day-to-day -day life with living with congenital hypothyroidism, then the support would be greatly appreciated. But until that time, stay safe and I'll see you all guys soon.